Hey there folks, Peter here from BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to talk about how to do a financial exchange. If you've seen in a previous video, we showed you how to hook QuickBooks Point of Sale up to QuickBooks Financial, otherwise known as QuickBooks Desktop. And today I'm just going to show you how to quickly do the financial exchange and this will push over all of the statistics and numbers and uh, all of the information from point of sale to your QuickBooks accounting. From time to time, somebody might want to do this just manually so that QuickBooks accounting is totally up to date to the minute. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, but first I'm going to have you click on the link on the description down below. You're going to go over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. Join up there. I'll be happy to see you. You can ask any questions you want there, and we have a great community that is ready to answer all of your wonderings and all of your errors and problems and if you're on youtube go ahead and hit subscribe right now and you'll get all the latest and greatest quickbooks point of sale videos all the time okay let's take a look here i'm going to show you how to do it just manually but i also want to uh, point out that during the end of day when you are counting out your drawer you will probably also want to do a backup uh, if you're on multi-store, of course, you can send data to remote stores. But right here, we have exchange data with QuickBooks. And so most often, I see that store owners have the financial exchange automatically happening at least once a day during their end of day. Uh, so like I mentioned, you might be doing some work in QuickBooks accounting and you want to see up to the moment or up to the minute numbers, uh, whether it be bills from receiving vouchers or your current sale numbers uh, or maybe you have a new customer that you want to do something with over in QuickBooks accounting and so you want to push that over. Uh, real quick I'm gonna do just like the quickest sale ever. I'm gonna add a new customer. I'm, I'm just creating data to push over there. So let's see we got Samwise something Ogre and we'll save that and then I'm just gonna add uh, an item that should have a price and I'm gonna take cash and save let's see so we'll do that and then uh, another thing that happens in the financial exchange is when people clock in and clock out clock in they have a password I think she does not uh, yeah sure and then I'm gonna clock out. Okay, so I've created some data to push over to QuickBooks Accounting. Now I can go on the financial menu and I can say update QuickBooks Desktop. In other words, what that is doing is a financial exchange. It is probably gonna be very fast here, but it's going to, as soon as it hooks up to QuickBooks in the background, it's going to push over any new information that has not already been pushed over to QuickBooks Financial. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Financial, uh, QuickBooks Accounting, these are all words for the same thing. And so there, it has uh, finished doing the financial exchange. Now if I opened up my QuickBooks Accounting, I would be able to see all of the new information. I'm gonna follow this up with a video on how you can look at exactly what was sent over in any particular financial exchange, so check that one out. Uh, otherwise, if you have any comments, leave them down below. If this was helpful to you, you can hit the like button. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope you have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye now.